Today we are in downtown Mount Dora. We have something very fun that we've wanted to do for a while now, and that is Lakeside Inn. Yes, we're gonna stay at their little cottage style hotel in downtown Mount Dora, and we're gonna give you a tour of what that's like. Let's go check it out. All right, as we pull in, it says guest entry and parking on the left hand side and when I did talk to them on the phone they said parking is free when you're staying and park wherever you want and you can come and go as you please um, it's currently raining ish so we'll see what happens here as soon as we parked the Sun came out so maybe we can escape the rain it's kind of weird it's coming down a little bit but um, we are going to do the check-in first. Have never been inside this building at all, but as far as rates go, currently they are celebrating their 140th year. So in honor of their 140 years, the rate is $140 a night currently right now. I'm not sure how long that's gonna go, but right now that is what they are offering. So have no idea what room we're gonna be in or anything. For the 140. Oh, gotcha. Just a standard room. We have wanted to stay here since we found out about Mount Dora, but we're just going to do the best we can with this tour because there's probably a lot going on in here. Let's go look at the entrance and where we check in at. You can see Lakeside Inn since 1883. You can hear the peaceful music in the background. Look at this. They must have, I don't know what they got going on here, but they're staining. We can't go up here, but you can see that's normally the entrance. They have Historic Hotels of America and Lakeside Inn 1883 National Register of Historic Places up there on the wall. So typically you would go in those doors. Instead, we're gonna go around to the side here Oh yeah, it looks like they did stain. It looks really nice. This is also part of the property. I mean, in some of our other videos, we kind of walked through here, but there's several restaurants on property. We will do a video of one of the restaurants. There's nothing stopping it, but it's sticky. Oh, is it? Uh, maybe, maybe this way. Typically you would just go right in front in those front doors. I think we're supposed to go this way. I don't know how well this has dried yet, but I guess this is the way we're supposed to go. There wasn't anything telling us not to, so it looks like you still go into... I don't know, hopefully we're not doing the wrong thing here. <laughs> there was nothing blocking that side off, so I, I'm guessing they did this side first. And now they're doing this side next. But as we enter, hopefully we did the right thing. So that's one of their restaurants right here. And it looks like, look at this. Looks like check-in is right on up here. Wow. Look at all this. This is really cool. Look at the piano, the fireplace. Okay, we just got checked in. We're gonna explore the lobby for a second here. There it is in 1906. This is really cool. I'm very excited to stay here. Look at all this. So we've got 19, it's probably hard to see, 1927, 1929, 1930, 1932, 1929. We've got all the years of it being here. 1935, 39. 39, 40s. Look at the shuffleboard they had out in front. The pool area. And then a nice piano situated right on over here. Yeah, we'll have to go over all the information they gave us because it's a bunch, but we're staying in the Gables building. This is really cool. You can see there is a restaurant over there that shows restrooms through maybe the restaurant. Um, but I think first we'll just go ahead and show you the room and go over the map 
and the information they provided us. This is very cool. So we came in those doors and we checked in right there. Next to check in, they've got like some brochures of different things to do. Huh, okay. We're gonna go to our room now, outside these doors. Here's a look at the restaurant. Opens at 11, they have breakfast, lunch, bar, menu, dinner, menu. Huh, so they do have breakfast too. Some more pictures of the lobby. That is really neat. Look at the lobby in 1921. Then if we turn this way, they've got like the little grand staircase, if you want to call it that, leading up. Alexander's. All right, let's go check out the room. So looking out the front door, we're over here in the gables section and they give you physical keys. Blurry, let's see, oh, there we go. And you can tell your room number by the little, sorry, the stain is loud here, but 7117. Really cool. They gave us a map. We'll go over in the room. Ton of information in there. Um, I guess that's where that shuffleboard was back in the day. I saw a picture of their shuffleboard oh, right there. The yeah. Yep. Looks like, yeah, we're gonna go. And also the gift shop's open in the morning, which is right over here. But we're gonna go in here and check out our room first. And then like I said, go over all the information. Now this, I think just opens, okay. First. So we are 7117. There's 7110. I think it might be a little creepy at nighttime. Possibly. Ice machines this way. Our room's right here. Awesome. Sorry, it is really dark in here. They gave us two sets of keys. This is a non-smoking room. Here we go. Let's see what this is like. Look at this. Are my keys still in there? Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. We'll do a tour first and then we'll go over information, but I love these handles. This is what it looks like. We got the one king bed. I'm guessing this is oh, a pretty large closet. Yeah, so they had walk-in closets because back in the day people, people traveling. Traveled, so yeah. yeah, look at this. I love these. Also, we did a video at the uh, Henry Plant Museum, and this reminds me of it because that same, era. same era and people traveled with all of their stuff. But check this out. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Well, they were built a year before. Yeah, built around the same time. I love all this history. Now, is it haunted? I don't know. Probably. They have ghost tours in Mount Dora, so probably is. But you probably will not be finding me out in the hallway like super late at night. Mm -hmm. Check out the bathroom. I love how they like kept it pretty old school. <laughs> That's cool. Little medicine cabinet. Look at the uh, light fixture. See the tub? Oh, in the tub. Look at this. It's unique. That is very unique. I love it. I think this is very cool. And it's right in downtown. Now, we'll do a tour of the property because I know they've got the pool, restaurants. We plan on doing a separate video at one of the restaurants. I yeah, if you open that and the key's gone, I don't know what we're going to do, but... Did you lock it? No. Oh, somebody locked us in. Now, the only thing I'm seeing that might be... Outlets. Yeah. You don't have your outlets or USBs like you do in a regular hotel. There is one outlet there. I didn't see a Gideon's Bible. But other than that, I think when you come here, the goal is really not to just, like, stay in your room. It's to explore everything 
Now, there's a lot of information they throw at you right when you go in there. You have to sign some kind of waiver thing saying you won't smoke in a non-smoking room. If you do, there's a fee. Uh, you don't have any pets with you. I guess you can bring pets. There's just different rooms for those. Yeah. And then what was the last thing? Uh... Security. The, oh, they have a security. There's no safes in the room, but you get a free one. Yeah. And here's the map she gave us. So... That's where he parked earlier. She said that you can come in here and do drop off right in front of the hotel. But when you do, you need to try to find parking over here. And then um, that is the gift shop, which is next door, which will we can't go tonight. It's closed, but in the morning it's open. There is where we're staying. There's the pool. There's another place, I guess, the terrace and the Sunset Cottage that you can stay at. Down here they have uh, boat tours. It's like a third party. It's not connected to them, but they do have boat tours. Um, there's the arbor, and inside here they have several restaurants. So they do give you a map. Um, throughout here, here are the places you can eat. So there, 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 and there. Not sure which one we're gonna go to, but that'll be a separate video. There's the gift shop. They did say if you come back in the before summer's over, right? Fifteen mm percent -hmm. off your stay. So that's really cool. Some local adventures. That premier boat is the boat tour down there. There's that ghost tour. They do have Wi-Fi. They do have a pool code, and they've got coffee from six to ten. Ice machines. We kind of showed you that outside. Um, they do have housekeeping team that, that is hearing impaired. So they said if you don't want them to come in, put "Do Not Disturb" sign on the doorknob. That's all the information there. Um, we did, we have some things that we need to put in a fridge. It does not come with a fridge. However, for $5 a night, you can request a fridge, which I did call them and ask. I currently don't see a fridge, so we'll just have to... We did call day of, though. Yeah, call day of. We didn't know we would need it until day of, but um, we'll have to call and ask them where they, when they can put a fridge in. As always, a quick bed test. And believe it or not, that feels very comfortable. They have a remote for the AC unit up there. For a little bit, we thought it was just stuck on 71. So just to fill you in, uh, I went and asked about the fridge and they actually don't have any more available at the moment. So that might be why we didn't get one in the room. Um, but it looks like maybe they're, they're limited. So just know that going into when it. When you book it, I think there's a place for additional comments. So maybe that would be a good spot to include that. Oh, we're getting a phone call. I don't know if you heard that or not. One second. Okay. That was the front desk. They also called my cell phone, but I missed the call. And then they just called the room phone and said they are currently out for tonight, but they may have some tomorrow. So if they have some tomorrow, they'll bring one in the room. So just know that going into it, you said that when you book online, they have a spot for it, you think? And additional comments or requests, I think there was a spot. Gotcha. And then you would just do it then. And also they kind of have a little bit of a Disney vibe going on because your room key, your card is on your room key. And so when you go to the bar or even the restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. You can show them the little, I don't know where, oh, my keys over there. The little, your number of your room and they charge whatever you to buy room, to right? your room. I did see that they put, I think, a hundred-ish dollar hold on my card as well that after you check out will mm -hmm. fall off. I think every hotel slash resort does that nowadays. Um, and other than that, I think that's all the information. Now we can explore the rest of the area and then also find a place to eat sometime. Unless it's a ghost, these doors lock automatically, like right here, this locks. And then on one side, they have do not disturb. On the other side, they have made service, please. There's so much history in here, but down below, we have a vending machine. And restrooms. They accept cards on this vending machine as well. And then ice is right here. It's out of order, but there's ice right there. I think we'll do a quick walk around of the grounds. So as we leave the gables and turn to the left, the gatehouse, which is over here, that's like their gift shop, which I'm curious to see what they have in their gift shop. 
again the main building so you can see the gables built in 1927 and then this is the area you can pull up here to drop or to like drop off your stuff check in there's the front here's that premier boat tours so looks like the sunset one's only twenty dollars but all the other ones are thirty two dollars for an adult and reservations required if we turn to the right here and go down this way we have the pool the boat tour down there and then the rooms so that restroom I showed just a second ago I guess is considered maybe the pool restroom I would say so that's neat I have this green space here looks like the bar is currently closed but that's the waterside bar unless Thursday through Sunday it's open, Thursday through Sunday it's open. And here's a look at the pool. There's several in the pool right now. And then as we head on down towards the water, they have some seats that you can just lounge in. And then there's that boat tour dock down there. They also have this gazebo, which is nice. And then a little, oh yeah, look, there we go, nature. Osprey has a fish. There's a little beach area, a dock there, the boat company there. A lot of seats at the pool, but there's a lot of people at the pool, so I won't film that. Then it just makes a loop over. Wow. Makes a loop over to this side. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to show the bar much or not we'll see what we can do we'll see when it opens it's a nice pool though it looks like an old school pool there is a pool code that you need to get in then over there's the waterside bar nice little covered area now we're just gonna walk up this way here's the front of it again parking is all on this side this is the terrace which was built 1928 and then we have the sunset cottage which was built 1914 and I don't know that's just like a little turnaround spot and there's parking over there as well and of course downtown is literally like we can kind of show you this way but downtown is right down there like literally there's the parking garage we walk by all the time it is a scorcher out right now because after that little rain shower, it is very humid. I think the plan really for this video was to show that and then obviously let you know how everything sleeps at night. Um, also, we'll make a separate video and maybe even multiple separate videos. It depends how hungry we are of the different restaurants they have. I know tonight we are going to, I mean, I'm soaked. It's, it's very hot. Um, I know tonight we're hungry, so we're gonna eat somewhere. I don't wanna include it in this video. I'd rather do a separate review video of that. And then, um, don't know if we'll go to the pool or not. Just kinda depends. And that's kinda, that's gonna be kind of the wrap up of the video. I think for now we're gonna go see what this Tremaine's Tavern is like. So that'll be a separate video. Okay, back in the lobby and the Beauclair, their menu is right here and we figured it out. So. They have the Beauclair dining room, but they use this same menu for all three of their restaurants. So they have the veranda, which just means you're gonna sit outside, but you're still gonna use that same menu that I just showed you. They have the Tremaine's Tavern, which is just this tavern room. Um, and then they have the Beauclair dining room, which is just around the corner here. If you go this way, oh, there's a little private event space. So there's that Tremaine's Tavern. And then in here is the Beauclair dining room. It's just which room you want to sit in. Again, they use the same menu for all three of the places, but it's kind of like themed. So do you want a tavern? Do you want outside? Or do you want like an actual dining room? And that makes sense so the tavern doesn't actually open until 11, but they do serve breakfast, lunch, bar menu, dinner in like the Beauclair dining area. 
restrooms are all through there. So hopefully that gives you kind of a rundown of if you're looking at eating here, they're not four separate or three separate restaurants. They're all one restaurant that uses the Beauclair menu, but you have um, Tremaine's Tavern, the Beauclair, and then the veranda. Hopefully that makes sense. And then also we're gonna ask up front, but we read that they have currently going on right now a scavenger hunt for their 140 years. And when you finish it, they have like unique prizes. So we're gonna go ahead and ask what their scavenger hunt is. Okay, and so this is the veranda, yeah. but it's still the same menu, same restaurant. So just talk to the people at the front desk. I think one was the front office manager, I think it said. Very friendly, very nice, very awesome. She was asking if we like history, what we thought of the place. And then we ask about the scavenger hunt. So they have, I guess, two scavenger hunts maybe? I don't know, that's what it said, but here's the trivia scavenger hunt. And so if you answer the questions um, correctly, you win a prize. All right, so we just got done eating and I showed you a little bit of kind of explaining the restaurant situation now that we understand exactly what it is. We're gonna do the scavenger hunt sometime. I think though, we're just gonna hang out just for a little bit and just kind of rest and enjoy sitting in this room. So we'll pick back up later with this video. So this is pretty cool. They've got the three knobs. So cold, hot, and then that turns the shower on. And we use the shampoo, but you can see this is their brand of lotion, conditioner, and shampoo. All right, ignore my eye. That'll be another story another day. However, we're gonna call it a night. We're taking showers, watching TV, and we'll let you know how everything went during the night. So stay tuned, we'll pick up tomorrow. All right, it's the next morning. Shower was surprisingly pretty good, actually. Um, I'm taller, so the shower head only came to about like right here, but that happens a lot. So other than that, that was fine. Bed wasn't too bad. Um, I will say, if you're on the first floor and people walk on the second floor, you can hear them. And then also if it rains, it gets a little loud. So I actually woke up in the middle of the night to the rain and I filmed a little segment of it. So I'll put that in right now. Here's what it looks like. 7.30 in the morning. It's very quiet and peaceful out here. Look at the lake down here. Now a couple things I don't think we mentioned, but we are actually here two nights. Not one, but two nights. So today we have a few things to do during the day, but we plan on doing that scavenger hunt and we might go grab some coffee after we put stuff in the car. All right, let's see where this coffee's at. And it's just right in front of us. It's right here. They got decaf too, cream, all that. So that's nice. Hey, Alexander's. That's cool. So the only downfall we saw with the coffee is they didn't have lids that fit the bigger cups, so. Or the smaller, or the smaller cups. So you just kind of have to go with uh, a no lid and be careful. All right, I think we're gonna pause the video here. We've got a couple things to do and then we'll pick up later. Currently outside, look at this bird. So we've got kind of a storm coming in here. Um, oh, it's not focusing on the right thing. Let me see if I can I can get through the, maybe not, but um, a little windy. So it looks like we'll be in the room for a little bit. I don't know if you can see, yeah, right there, you can see how it's swaying a little bit. All right, I don't want this video to be super long, so we're actually gonna go try to do this trivia scavenger hunt. I'm not gonna show it though, because in case you stay here sometime and wanna do it on your own, um, don't wanna give any answers away. And then we'll see what the prize is. And then tomorrow morning, we will check out the gift shop. And then I think that'll wrap up the video. So we came back from the scavenger hunt. We only have a couple things left, but it's getting pretty dark out. So we're gonna finish that up in the morning. I wanted to show you, here's how they bring the mini fridge. Um, it is $5, right? $5 a night? A day. A day. Um, but it holds quite a bit of stuff. So you got the mini fridge in here. And then, like I said, tomorrow, tonight we're just gonna go to bed. Tomorrow we're gonna do, finish the scavenger hunt and then um, do the gift shop. And that'll be the end of the video. It is the next morning. We're gonna finish the scavenger hunt, look at the gift shop and finish the video. All right, we are outside getting ready to go into the gift shop. Just wanna show you all their plants. 
there's the place we stayed. Here's the gatehouse. It says closed, so we just need to see. What time do they open? Do you remember? Was it 10 maybe? If it's 10, that's only in a little bit. Maybe they're, um, maybe the door says their hours. Let's see. It says closed, but the door's open. Let me just look at their hours. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, 10. So it's almost 10. Well, 10. So we'll actually take our little scavenger hunt page into the front and see if by chance we got everything correct, see the prize they give us. And then by that time, hopefully it'll be open. All right, we passed our quiz. There is, I don't know, they might redo it, but there is one question that I think was an old question because it wasn't on their little answer sheet. So we didn't know what the answer was and I think it was a previous quiz, but we passed and there was a handful of gifts and one of those being the rocking chair here ornament. And on the bottom, they wrote Lakeside Inn. That's kind of like their little logo. So when you go to check in at the front, they've got like a big picture, or big rocking chair. So pretty cool. They had some like magnets and other stuff, but you'll just have to come out and do it sometime and get your own price. This frog is not having it today. Anyway, the gatehouse, it's now open. I'm excited. I don't know what kind of gift shop they have in here. Gatehouse was 1908. Might be the only ones that get to, that are in here currently. The Donnelly Room. Ooh. Showed the hours a little bit ago. I don't know if I can film in here or not. We'll just see. All right, so there was a sign in there that said no photography, so I wanted to respect that and not film. So that's why you didn't really get to see it. However, they had a lot of cool, neat little items. Um, postcards, uh, like soaps, soaps, mugs, shot glasses, things like that. Art. Yeah, good art. Um, but neat little, neat little shop. All right, they said when you check out, just leave the keys right here and housekeeping will bring it back to them. Also, as a side note, there's actually two scavenger hunts and we didn't know that. There's one that's downtown Mount Dora and then there's one that is just the hotel. So had we known, we probably would have just done the hotel one. However, I mean, we'll be back sometime because the hotel one would be a lot of fun. And that was our stay at the Lakeside Inn here in Mount Dora. And I give it two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I would highly recommend it. You just have to know what you're going into. And although people have said maybe it might be haunted, definitely didn't feel any sort of haunts. I think it's more focused on the main building. But... Gotcha. Um, I would say my maybe two least favorite things if I had to pick one. The pillows. I would definitely recommend bringing your own pillow. And there's no Kleenexes in here. Oh, yeah. So just kind of two little <clears throat> tidbits, tips, if you will, of... If you're coming to stay here. Um, favorite thing? Mm, just the history. History of it, yeah. Uh, okay. Least favorite thing. Mm, I pretty much liked it all. You could say no Kleenexes too. The pillow, the pillows were pillows. not my favorite. Yeah, the staff very friendly. Mm -hmm. So you actually heard about a fact here mm -hmm. um apparently al capone stayed here and i guess there's maybe a picture of him or he used to sit in a certain spot in the dining room something something to that effect gotcha but other than that loved it oh it's oh. also the longest continually operating hotel in florida yes again celebrating 140 years mm -hmm. it's awesome mm -hmm. we loved it Pretty. Hopefully this tour of the hotel um, helps you out if you're looking at maybe finding a place to stay down here. Even if you're a local like us, it's worth a getaway. Mm -hmm. Really, really awesome. Um, but I think we're going to wrap it up because the video is probably long enough. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.